today I'm going to talk about something totally different. I did some work for a guy, or should I say a client, and he decided he won't pay me, but he know I love experimenting. He has some units he will bring over for me to experiment with. This is not what it looks like. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, he brought two UPS for me and he told me I would have to take one and try to make another one out of it. Before I begin, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos. The client brought this, actually he brought two of them for me. This is the parts for the, the other one. And this is the transformer. When I looked at this border, it looked better than the border I put inside here. And it has a higher wattage. This border is rated for 462 watts at 700 amps. But when I connected it into this case, it had a short. And I don't know how to operate this but I fiddled with it and I put one of my testers on this and it had a nasty shock. While fiddling, all I saw was smoke coming out somewhere in this area. But when you look at this border, For me, it is complicated and whatever burned on it didn't leave no trace. I inspected it. I put it underneath a magnifying glass to see what is what and uh, absolutely nothing so i decided to use this one as parts now look at that heat sink look at how thick the heat sink is on it the unit inside here is a 330 watts at 500 VE. This is the case which I could have keep the case. The batteries were not good. Take out the batteries and do the same thing I did here but you find the problem with this is it didn't have a fan. And the board I didn't like the position of the boards. The boards were upside down like this. They were in this configuration. I rather the boards this way. So I
took out everything. I had a couple of this set cases around. And I placed it in it, modified this. It's 220. I put a 220 outlet here. A 220 outlet. Um, 220 in, 220 out. I placed a fan here. But, oh, and I have a thermostat in between the heat sink. So when that get hot, it would turn on the fan. But you find whenever the fan comes on, it stays on for, I would say, about 15 minutes or so before it goes off, which I didn't like. So I put this cover and I cut a bottle, plastic bottle, and put it over for, it to con for the air flow to be concentrated here. It worked, but I didn't like the plastic bottle. I was afraid that the bottle would melt and a fire would happen. So I place another fan here, blowing on the heat sink and also the transformer would get some air. For me to get a 12 volts, this is a 24 volt system, I place a LM2596 in here, connect it to 12 volts. Dial, 24 volt sorry dial it up with this port to get 12 volt output connect to the thermostat and wire the two fans anytime this gets hot the fans would come on now the way I thought these UPS was working is you hook up your batteries you connect your main and the current would pass through and power up if it's your computer or whatever you would be powering up but it actually works in reverse this is always on once you Put the batteries in you put the power into it you plug your unit this is on it's running constantly when they do take current whatever switching it does it would automatically switch to the battery without no time loss but I thought it would have a switch, a transfer switch. When the current go, it would transfer to the battery and put this unit on. But this is always on. It's always working. So you find, I don't know why when they manufactured that, they didn't put a fan into it. this is what the front looks like i cut the face plate and put there i put a voltmeter there i ordered some ac voltmeters i'll put one here to show the wattage the voltage and amps this is what I've been working on for the past four days. 
right i am through with it so i decide to share it with you all right now i'm going to hook it up i won't be able to hold the camera and uh, do the hooking up yeah this is where i'll be hooking it i'll be putting it on this here that's too leather no that's too gel batteries i also need that to power this is my charging station underneath here i have a computer power supply but it's not putting out enough to to power up these things so i will be using i ordered some power supplies to put in place of the computer power supply and also this would be powering up my unit when they take power which they don't usually do but we do get power surge now and again this is the unit so i'll put off and then i'll hook up and come back yeah i've plugged in the unit so now i'll be turning on the power this is a breaker right here the power is on this is the battery voltage let me plug That's it. It's on right now. So I'm putting off the means. The means are off. So right now I'm on it. So this is my new backup system for my charging station and also for the computer. If you find this video as helpful, please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos until the next one see you goodbye